um, uh, how do you think it's important why you are the home of the trauma informed? Well, I've just received information released now that police have surrounded the home of uh, former Minister for Internal Security, Mr. Matiangi. And I was shocked to hear that this is happening at this hour, the day. They say that the more things change, the more they remain the same. We are now witnessing what this country has been through before. The times of late night arrests and detentions of people without any formal charges. This is what actually appears to be coming back to our country. Because if Mr. Machiangi had committed a crime, he is a Kenyan and he lives in Kenya. There is time to go and, uh, and actually serve him with, with the notice to appear before a police, police station. There is no reason why police should be coming to somebody's private residence at this time of the day when people are asleep. This means that police themselves are actually guilty of committing a crime. If Patiangi has committed a crime that warrants his arrest, actually that should be made public and known to him. And then he can even go and present himself to the police officer and for interrogation and record a statement. But this idea of arresting senior citizens at this hour of the night is something that is completely repugnant to civilization. This is completely unacceptable in our society. But I've said, and I will repeat it in a, in a day, we are dealing with an illegal regime, a regime that usurped power against the will of the people of Kenya, imposed on the people of Kenya by one rogue minister, Wafula Chebukati. That's why we are seeing what's happening here today. But the people of Kenya will not take this lying down. The people of Kenya must resist imposition of a legal uh, regime on them. which now want to use the power of the police to terrorize this country. This is completely un unacceptable. It will not be accepted and we will not allow it to happen. Not only to Mr. Matiangi, but to anybody else. So we are here. We will stand with Mr. Matiangi and anybody else to ensure that the law of this country is respected. Thank you very much, Honorable Prime Minister.